Good evening, everyone. This is Wayne, and this is the video version of the trade report for Wednesday, April 18th, 2018. Well, the markets closed mixed today as the Dow found itself in the red. Why did that happen? Stay tuned to find out more. Greetings, everyone, and thank you once again for joining me as we go over the action and events from today in the financial markets. Well, I'm going to solve the mystery that I set up in the intro, first and foremost, even before we go over the S&P uh, futures. IBM had its earnings report last night, and it did not go well. They, uh, they reported a rather nasty miss, and... The stock fell $12 today, which for a $160 stock equates to approximately 8%, which is just incredibly nasty. So IBM does have a history of missing its earnings. This is its last earnings report, another drop. And if we go back in time, which I'm not going to, we will find that predominantly, not exclusively, but mostly... IBM misses its earnings. So, Big Blue is feeling blue today, I'm afraid. Now, that move to the downside is responsible for almost 100 Dow points. So, because of that, the Dow closed in the red today. And the Dow did close down 38 and a half points. So, if it wasn't for IBM's earnings miss, they would have closed in the green with the other uh, indexes as well. And the other indexes did close up relatively well. Uh, NASDAQ closed up 14 points. The uh, S&P closed up uh, two and a quarter points. And the Russell 2000 closed up uh, three and three quarters points. So it wasn't a big booming day to the upside. Um, in fact, it was kind of a, it was a very different day today in the market. Uh, volume was down a little bit. Uh, we did have the characteristic selling at the open that we've come to uh, almost expect anymore. When the uh, we in the uh, pre-market we had a nice little pop to the upside about an hour before the open, a little bit more, and then the markets just started getting a little bit soft. And then when they opened, they went up, they went down, and then they closed basically where they opened, and then they just kind of collapsed. And then we just started getting bought back up again. And we got back up above value area high in the market profile. And as you can see, we just kind of dinked around all day today. We had a little push to the downside when the uh, Fed released its beige book uh, uh, results. Uh, but then it just got bought back up again, got up and down all around, and finally ended up getting sold if you want to call it selling, I mean, yes, the market went a little bit lower into the close, um, but, you know, it still closed higher. It was just, it was kind of a mushy day. Um, I did put on some positions. Um, I bought some Netflix today. Netflix went lower and I thought, you know what? It had amazing earnings. It's just kind of in a profit taking mode, a little bit of a little bit of you know, uh, a little bit of selling just to kind of take the pressure off of the upside and it's just it's going to get ready to go higher again. And it actually went green for a little while, but then backed off again. We can take a look at the uh, take a look at the chart here real quick. And of course, I do want to show you uh, Amazon. Amazon is uh, we're, we're going to go to uh, Netflix right now first. And I do want to show you that. So you can see Amazon's earnings uh, earnings beat the night before last, um, you know, sent it basically rocketing to the upside in yesterday's session. It did close off its highs, but it closed at an all-time high. Now, in today's session, it went kind of back and forth, held its own relatively well, though. The fact that it pulled back, held its own, and just you know, really stabilized in today's session, that tells me we're going higher. Now, we're way above all of these levels, and I'm going to have to draw some new levels. Um, and I may just do that while I have you here. 
Um, and I'm going to let, let's let's just check this out real quick. I'm going to bring over my um, my uh, dynamic trader software. We're just going to go ahead and get out of this. I'm going to draw a new chart, and uh, we'll just kind of see how this all plays out here. Now, I like using candlesticks, and we're just going to pull that over like this. So there's some rather definitive um, areas that we can begin taking some Fibonacci measurements here. We begin going from highs to lows to see where we're at here. And you can see that we've closed above the 100% um, symmetry resistance. And we've hit the 1272 target. Now the 1618 comes in at 354.84. I think we're heading higher here. Um, and the reason I say that is because we've had several upgrades on the stock. The market has held up very well. And we seem to be past, quote unquote, the worst of it. And it's my thinking that Amazon is actually leading the way higher at this point. Now, sorry, Netflix, <laughs> I, old habits are hard to break. I think Netflix is actually leading the market higher here. So we've got this 369.09 symmetry resistance, which is the, um, that is that level right there. And let me make sure I've got that accurate. And I think I do. But uh, let's do that again right here. I'm going to take that level to that level and to that. Yes. So the 100% symmetry uh, resistance is at 369.09. Now, there are a couple of uh, speed bumps, if you will, uh, in the form of targets that uh, Netflix is vying for. The first of which is going to be uh, 351, and then we have one at 354. Now, I like this range here, and if and when we get there this week, I will exit my position because that is actually my target is 350. Now, I'm not necessarily thinking that we're done when we hit there, but that's my target, that's my thesis, and I'm fine with that. I'm gonna free up my capital, take my profits, and take a look at the rest of the market and see what might be setting up. So that's my thesis on, uh, on Amazon. Uh, boy, again, old habits hard to break. That's my thesis on Netflix. Let's look at Amazon so I can get that out of my system. Uh, let's see here. Let me grab Amazon. Now, Amazon really is on a tear here. Now, I mentioned yesterday that I was looking for 1529 today, and here we are. Uh, Amazon actually closed at 1527.84, but I just noticed something, uh, and I'm going to share it with you. I did not see this until just now, folks. So we are looking at a market that is in breakout mode here. Uh, again, I just noticed this. So you and I are in discovery mode. Look at Amazon. Amazon just broke out in the last 15 minutes or so. I don't know why. There's no news. And uh, let's see, let's, let's take a look here. Now, what I like to do, I'm going to show you what I look at when I'm looking for um, information. So what I've got here is, it's basically the, net, the live news gadget at, uh, on Thinkorswim. Uh, so... Let's see, Amazon cites more than 100 million paid Prime members globally among achievements. Bezos discloses Amazon Prime membership total for first time. Okay, so the market is basically viewing this information as extremely bullish. And I can tell you right now, I'm really glad I'm long Amazon. Uh... You know, this is the kind of thing that happens periodically. You get an unknown binary event that comes into the market and you just have a reaction. 
So whether or not this holds into tomorrow's trade, I have no idea. But, you know, here we are. <laughs> the uh, uh, Amazon is currently up. Well, let me take a look here. I need to look at my, my, uh, my watch list now. So Amazon closed up $24 and a penny at $15.2784. It's currently trading at $15.51 in the extended session. So it's up another $24 in the extended session. Looks like it's well on its way to $1,600, folks. Now, I, 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 and this is... Uh, semi inexplicable like i said kind of caught me off guard in a good way but at the same time this is the kind of thing that happens during earnings season that can really send a stock just catapulting to the upside so that's amazon boeing ended the day up four dollars and 28 cents uh caterpillar went up 264 google ended down three dollars and 97 cents Home Depot had a, an amazing day, up $4.94. So we have a lot of stocks that are beginning to get traction again. Now, the broader market is, it's a little, I don't want to say it's weak. That's probably not a good characterization. But it's trading, it's trading, you know, a little bit higher to sideways, which is good. When I say good, I mean it's benefiting lower volatility and a market coming back into balance, establishing a sense of normalcy about it. We're not getting any more of these exaggerated, you know, 15 to 20 to 30 point, you know, shuffles during the midday trade. You know, today's action was very subdued. It was, uh, I don't know, it, it was quiet and volatility had an opportunity at one point during the day, specifically during this, this move here to go higher, and it did, but then it went lower again. So even volatility is beginning to recognize and respect the fact that this market is coming back into its own. So on that subject, I do want to, of course, pull up a, uh, a chart of the VIX and, uh, you know what we've been looking at on the VIX. We've been looking at a market that continually moves lower. We're going to get a little bit of a move to the upside today. Um, but that would be in keeping with what would be characterized as a, as a bounce. Just kind of a technical move to the upside. You can see that it went higher. In fact, let's just let's make that just a little bit bigger. You can see how it went a little bit to the upside. We actually had a fairly decent pop, almost a set. Actually, did we have a 17 print in that thing? Our high print of the day was, no, 1690. Um, but you can see how we went higher and then basically came back down again, kind of collapsed. So volatility can't even get its groove back. So I think tomorrow, we're going to end up going lower again, which means the market's going to go higher. And with Amazon basically breaking out to the upside here, and Amazon, you know how I feel about Amazon, I think it is the market leader. Uh, and with Netflix showing some strength, and actually with, with Amazon moving higher, that may affect the rest of tech. I'm looking at Netflix, not moving in the extended session. So let's look at Google. Uh, Google, not moving. Facebook, not moving. Just Amazon. Okay. So th this just affects Amazon, apparently. So, all right. Well, it's happening in a vacuum, at least for the moment. So we'll see how that plays out in the market tomorrow. Uh, there was one other stock that missed its earnings. Uh, Lamb Research, which has, uh, has its uh, business model in the uh, the chip sector, so along with Intel, AMD, uh, NVIDIA, Micron Technology, uh, they also registered a miss last night. And uh, they, they came down pretty hard, but then recovered from their low. Did okay in the great scheme of things. 
uh, but still ended the day a little bit soft, down to eight dollars. So, yeah, you know, earnings season just it's a little rough. Uh, now, American Express. Uh, reported earnings tonight and you can see let's see let's let me get that uh american express actually did close higher in the extended you can see the uh you can see the move higher here pretty uh pretty self-explanatory um and you know i think morgan stanley was the other one and it looks like they basically you know they they haven't done anything uh, let me make sure that they are actually um, earning. Yeah, that was today. Oh, that was this morning. My apologies. I thought that was after the close tonight. So anyway, it doesn't matter. All right, so that's that. So tomorrow at this point, given the new information that I've just discovered in Amazon, I would expect for one, uh, the NASDAQ to go higher for sure. Whether or not that provides some contagion for the other averages remains to be seen. Uh, there is one more market that I want to show you, and that is uh, crude oil. Uh, crude oil has absolutely been on a tear. It has, it's gone, I think they said the last time it was this high was about six years ago. Uh, it's trading very close to $70 a barrel. And if we take a look at that, uh, you can see the uh, you can see the trend from yesterday's trade, and we do get oil inventory reports out Tuesday after the close and Wednesday today at 7:30 a.m. Pacific, 10:30 a.m. Eastern time, and both of those reports showed what's known as a draw. That means that inventories fell more than they thought, which creates you know supply supply issues and so the uh, uh the commodity goes higher so let me show you the daily chart on this gives a little bit better perspective when we're looking at yeah so there we go so this is uh in fact let's take a look at a weekly chart that's probably a better way to view this seeing as it's a uh, a multi-year high yeah you can see the high here and we actually hit a 2618 which is an extension a, it's a it's a huge extension from uh from a from a high to a low so whether or not we keep going higher remains to be seen but you can see how well, let's actually take a look at the monthly here because we have so I'm, I'm getting out this is a 15 year monthly chart so the last time we were this high yeah back in 2014 so actually four years ago but that was coming down. Uh, and now we've taken this, you know, kind of interesting journey below the 200 period moving average on the monthly chart. We just went above the monthly. Wow, that's bullish, folks. So the fact that we've just gone above the 200 period moving average on the monthly chart and closed above it, even though we closed at the 2618 of a daily chart, means this market is probably going to go much higher. In fact, I did hear rumors today that they're looking for $80 crude oil prices, which of course means that gasoline will be more expensive at the pump. It's amazing how that works. And then of course, when oil prices come down, you just don't see prices come down as quick as they went up. So anyway, I don't mean to sound cynical, but that is the way it works. So at any rate, at this point, Let's see, we've got, uh, we've got about two minutes until the, uh, uh, until the extended session opens. I'm just going to keep it right here, and I'm sure I can find something else to, uh, to talk about. I seem to have the gift of gab as it relates to the financial markets. So let's just show, uh, I want to show you Netflix. Um, actually, what else do I, what else? Am I, oh, the VXX. The VXX is a volatility uh, ETF and I actually bought some puts and I don't want I want to get out of this monthly chart and get into the daily chart here gives us a much better perspective of what's going on so I bought puts today in the VXX 
And what that means is I want this market to go lower. And I bought those puts when volatility was going higher, which means the VXX was going higher. And it just didn't have the personality of anything that was going to last very long. So I bought puts and you can see how it dropped nicely. Now I am looking for a drop below this 200 period moving average. In fact, I'm actually looking for prices to come down at least to about 37, 38. I'd love to see prices come down to about 35. In fact, that's the strike price of the options I bought with the 35 strike price. So if it comes down to 35, uh, that would be ideal. I am looking for about a $2 move, which uh, I got about a dollar move today. So yeah, we'll see what happens in tomorrow's session. But if Amazon leads the way higher due to this unknown binary event that has affected the stock and potentially the rest of the uh, market, um, I, may, I may be exiting that tomorrow. Rarely do I get into a position that I plan on exiting the next day, but if it hits my price target and it, you know, I have my profit, you know, I'm not going to get greedy. I want to exit that position. So uh, let's see, we've got, we just opened. All right. So what's going on? So we've got uh, not a whole lot of activity here, actually. Looking at everything as it's setting, it looks like we're getting a little bit of a pullback in the S&P futures. Uh, it looks like the... Looks like the NASDAQ has popped a little bit higher and everything else, so everything's relatively stable. So it's not really creating much of, a, of an effect in the broader market, the, uh, the Amazon uh, pop. So with that, I'm going to uh, wish you a good night and good trading. 